It's been two months since millions of cubic meters of contaminated water spilled from the tailings pond of Mount Polly Mine. Right away, UNBC researchers were on scene. Ever since, they've been collecting water samples from the area. Now they have some results, which point to decades of recovery. Results are in, and this is just the beginning. It's huge, in all honesty. I mean, there's probably, you know, not quite the amount of resources that we would like to see thrown at something of this magnitude and scale. Researchers have been doing their best to track the spill from the Mount Polly Mine tailings pond. Their samples show a pool of contaminants has reached the Quinell River. We've never had anything like this occur before. It's unprecedented, really. And that's a good thing, obviously. But I, I, there's several levels of concern. Certainly the plume and how that could affect drinking water is, is certainly relevant. Soon after the spill, about three meters of sediment settled on the bottom of Quinell Lake. Now, very fine particles are moving through the water deep below the surface. Wind movement is causing the cloudy water to move from the lake downstream into the river. This material is sort of burping out into the river itself. So the fine particles we've picked up now in the river on days when we notice that the water gets very cold, which reflects that it's coming from the bottom layers. Come November, the situation could get worse. That's when the water gets colder and mixes, spreading contaminants throughout the lake. UNBC's Quinell River Research Centre is taking on a big task, monitoring the situation. It could be decades, and that's really a function of the lifespan of the organisms which are going to be affected. Uh, we know, for example, that the, you know, the, the, the salmon runs are going to be returning. From salmon to tiny organisms like plankton, the whole food chain could be impacted by the debris that's spreading into the Quinell River, which feeds into the Fraser. Researchers say more financial and human resources are needed to fully understand how this spill will impact the environment. So my question to the minister, any minister over there who's able to answer, why is it that in response to this disaster, there has been just a trickle of information for the public, just a trickle of information for the people of Likely to better understand what their future holds for them? Doesn't surely, through you, Honourable Speaker, the government have a higher responsibility than to cover this up? So we have collected 83 samples. Uh, Interior Health reaffirms that the water located outside the impact zone remains safe to drink. There's a difficult time. We've all got to work, work together. And we're doing a lot of that already with the Ministry and with particularly the Department of Fisheries and Oceans and, and UBC. But it's, you know, we're going to need to do a lot more of that in the, in the coming years because this spill could have an impact that lasts for decades. Camille McDonald, CKPG News.